You know, one of the interesting things about Leave it to Beaver that no other show can, um, can brag about is that it started out as a television show in the golden age of television, obviously those 234 episodes in the 50s and 60s, and then it re-ran forever. I mean, everybody was familiar with it. It's really hard to find somebody who hasn't, hasn't seen it. Then, um, then in the early 80s... Morning at 8.30, the part of AM Live. Barbara Billingsley, Tony Dow. You are in Kansas City. Come okay. back with those phone calls. I thought I'd be interested in uh, answering the rumor that there would be maybe a remake of Beaver with uh, the original cast. What about that? It's a reunion. Reunion? Yeah. A, a two-hour movie. So, yeah, it's a two, and CBS is uh, doing it in conjunction with Universal, and it's a two-hour movie of the week, and uh, it'll have, I guess... Now, and this is all supposition because we haven't really been contacted regarding... Uh, the specifics of the show. We've seen a script, and it has uh, Ken Osmond, who played Eddie Haskell. It has Lumpy. Who else? Uh, Richard Deacon. Richard, uh, uh, Richard Deacon. It has Larry Mondello. Yeah. What about the little girl that... Uh, Judy? Played? Yeah. No, she, she, isn't, she isn't in it right now, but I think... You know, I think things can be juggled, because I'm sure they're going to have... They may have trouble finding a couple of the people that they're going to want to find. But we're looking forward to it, and we hope that it, it does come to pass. There's sure been a lot of press about it, that surprises us. <laughs> Do you have any idea yet when shooting might begin on that? Well, well talk about next month. But... They talk about next month. They had a October fifth start date, but right. they don't. They don't really even have. They haven't really tied up all the loose ends yet. So once CBS and Universal get together with with their negotiations and make a, a deal, then they can go ahead and start pursuing the specifics of shooting schedules and dealing with us. It became a two-hour movie of the week. You're always telling me I should figure out what I want to do. Well, I have. I want to bring my kids back to Mayfield so that they can grow up in a home full of love and understanding and a lot of good stuff in the icebox. And Brian Levant, who was the head writer on Happy Days, was a huge Leave it to Beaver fan. And um, he has just finished Happy Days and was looking for a project. And he said, you know what? Let's take this to the network. Uh, it was on CBS. It was called Still the Beaver. It was one of the top ten movies. And then the people in Hollywood and New York said, well, if they're that popular, why don't we make this into a series? Kind of like Leave it to Beaver. We can have Jerry and Tony both have families and have kids and see how an updated version was. It was one of the first um, series that, uh, that was really successful on cable. We were on the Disney Channel, and we doubled their subscribership in a year. Then they canned us. And then, uh, and then we went on um, the Turner, Turner Channel, and we did... We had, the, we had the largest order in history at that particular time. I think it was 72 episodes or something like that. We tried to get as many of the original characters for the new Leave it to Beaver as, as we could. So um, Ken Osmond, who played Eddie Haskell, Frank Banks, Barbara Billingsley. Now, Hugh Beaumont sadly passed away in 1982, actually about four or five months before we were actually going to do the show. Bob Mosher, unfortunately, had died too young again. And um, Joe couldn't ride any longer because he'd had a brain aneurysm, so he was alive and fine, but he just wasn't up to Joe Conley. So we had other writers. You know, it's interesting that the show has, has not only been enjoyed by a number of generations, but it itself has gone through generations and been in a lot of different, um, different forms. You know, Warren, Looking through a scrapbook like that is just like watching the boys grow up before your eyes. Yeah. And it was quite revealing watching Eddie Haskell progress from a, an insincere little kid to a, an insincere big one. 